During one of my most stressful times in my life, I had gained over 80 pounds. And being a physician, this was one of the worst things I felt I could do because I thought I knew better. However, as I went through my functional medicine training, I realized it wasn't about willpower, but that I was wrecking my cortisol. My HPA axis, which controls your cortisol rhythm, was completely out of sync. So if you're gaining weight, you're feeling irritable, you are feeling brain foggy, then you'll want to stay tuned because this could be happening to you too. Hi, I'm Dr. Barr. I'm a board-certified family and obesity medicine physician, and I'm also certified in functional medicine. And it is my mission to bring you the latest functional medicine insights so you can reclaim your health and optimize your life. In this video, I'm going to dive deep into cortisol, your main stress hormone, and the system that controls it, the HPA axis. This is a five-part series on the HPA axis dysfunction, or you could also call it cortisol dysfunction. Today, I'm going to go over the introduction to the HPA axis. Day two will be on the stages of adrenal dysfunction. Day three, testing. Day four, on the causes. And day five will be on treatment. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of it. And don't forget to grab your free PDF, the Cortisol Reset Habit Tracker. The link is in the description. Before we dive deeper, I do want to make one thing clear. There are rare but serious medical conditions where you have too much cortisol, like Cushing's, or very low cortisol, which is an autoimmune disease called Addison's. It is very important that if you are having similar symptoms that you get these ruled out first by your healthcare provider. What we're talking about today is something different. It is called HPA axis dysfunction. This is a stress-driven miscommunication between the brain and your adrenal glands that throws your entire system off balance. All right, so let's get into it. You know, cortisol gets a bad rap, but it's not your enemy. It's actually your built-in survival switch. When it's balanced, it helps you stay sharp, energetic, and resilient. Did you know that cortisol also does more than just control your stress response? Here's what this powerhouse hormone should be doing when it's working right. Number one is it balances your blood sugars. Cortisol tells your liver to release stored glucose in times of need. So your brain and muscles have fuel to keep going, especially during times of stress or fasting. Number two, it keeps your blood pressure stable. It helps your blood vessels constrict and relax appropriately. That means you can get blood to your brain quickly when it's needed. Number three, it calms your immune system so it reduces inflammation, but this is in the short term. It's how your body protects itself from going into overdrive with inflammation when you're injured or sick. It's why you might be given prednisone or steroids when you have some sort of inflammatory acute condition. Number four, Cortisol has a natural rhythm where it's higher in the morning to get you woken up so you can go about your day and then it tapers off at night so you can sleep. When cortisol is balanced, it's one of your greatest allies. But when chronic stress pushes it out of rhythm, everything starts to unravel, including your energy, sleep, mood, metabolism, and immune system. Now, I do want to clear up something because you may have heard of the term adrenal fatigue. This is an outdated term, but it's still used quite a bit. It's a misguided phrase. Your adrenals are not really fatigued or burned out, but instead there actually is a miscommunication between your brain and your adrenal gland, and thus it's called HPA axis dysfunction. And HPA stands for hypothalamus, pituitary, and adrenal. And they all work in conjunction to help control your stress response. So when your body senses stress, this sends a message to the hypothalamus in your brain. This sends a signal then to your pituitary gland, which is also in your brain. And then that sends a signal to your adrenal glands to release adrenaline and to release cortisol. So in a healthy system, this works beautifully. But here's the catch. 
Most of us who are chronically stressed never get that reset with all of the busy things that we have to do. When you are chronically stressed, your hypothalamus is perceiving that there is danger. And so it keeps sending out signals to your pituitary and then to your adrenal glands to keep making cortisol. And your body stays stuck in the survival mode. When that system gets pushed for far too long, it starts to break. So what happens next? Your body actually will start to go through three stages of HPA dysfunction. And you may flip flop between stage one and two, but once you get to stage three, that is where you're really starting to have problems with stress resiliency. So in the next video, I'm going to be diving into the three stages. If there is somebody that you know that you think may benefit from this information, please share and have a fantastic day.